And then that you were playing a character modeled on your director's mother. Yes. Did you talk to him about the real life person or did you want to steer away from that? Oh no, we talked endlessly about her and we're still talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was a joy. Just because Mike, who wrote and directed the movie, his preoccupation with it and the way that he was trying to investigate his mother, his relationship with his mother, became fascinating to me. And also, of course, it was his mom, but then it was also this other woman that was in this fictional story. And then it was me. So it's me interpreting Mike's interpretation of his mother. And sometimes I would think, oh, maybe she wasn't really like that, Mike. You know, <laughs> I didn't even know her. But no, I began to think about that. Cause, and he knew that, you know, that it's all subjective. OK, Jesus, uh, yeah. It's hard to find someone that I like. I, I had my chance twice, but that part of life just didn't work out for me. I think all of us, there's a certain gulf between us and our parents, no matter how much we love them, that there's a part of them that's kind of unknowable to us. And then the, the reverse is also true. I mean, I have four kids, so. You know, you know your children so deeply from when they're so tiny. And then now my, kid, my kids are, are young adults. But again, it's the same thing. It's, there's, there's always a, a longing to know more and a longing to understand more and that we're all so close and because we love each other so deeply, there's a certain blindness as well. No, I find, we find, Mike and I, we're, we're still talking about her and wondering about her and asking questions. And when new things happen, like with the election this week, I just saw him last night, he said, Annette, I was thinking about you all day of the election. And I, know, I knew what he meant, because when he's thinking about his mother now, he's kind of thinking about her through <laughs> me and what all of our reactions were to that. You started in theater, Annette. Um, is there any great role you'd like to do that you haven't done on stage? It's tricky because sometimes just wanting to do a good role, a great role, isn't a good enough reason to do it. <laughs> yeah, I think very rarely it works well if it's just somebody wanting to play a role. It has to be a, a you know what I mean? It has sure. to be a group of people around you. So is there one right now? I don't, I don't know. Um, I recently was, obs I've been obsessed with this monologuist named Ruth Draper, and I put together a show. Um, she wrote and performed her own monologues, and that was, a time, that was at a time when people did that much more. She was American, but she was sort of an international phenom, and she would tour around the world doing these monologues that she created, and she was amazing. So I had been kind of preoccupied with her, and there are recordings of her. She did record some of them right before she died. That was really demanding and in a way that it was like a marathon. It's like we're trying to climb a mountain. So I wanted to do that. I wanted that experience of could I do this? Do you get stage fright? Yes, but not, not paralyzing. But no, I have uh, fear all the time um, with the work that I do. And I, I, I don't know I, if everyone has that. I think most people do, but. Do you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. paralyzing. Do you want your kids to follow you into acting? Uh, yes, if they wanted to. If it's something you're passionate about, whatever it is, uh, oh, I would say yes. Um, I, I do also, I mean, I've realized recently that there was a part of me that thought there was some way I could protect my children from feeling pain, <laughs> which is so ridiculous. I mean, it wasn't like I thought about it consciously, but I think in my unconscious, I sort of thought about that. So, you know, there's a lot of rejection you, you have to um, accept. And then once you even get the job, then there's a question of putting yourself out there and, and doing it. It's one thing theoretically to want to act. In fact, the best time is when you just get the job. <laughs> because then you, haven't, you don't have to do it yet. You can just think about it. Ah, oh, I have that thing. Hi, I'm Taraji P. Henson. What's going on? I'm Alicia Keys. Matt Damon. Naomi Harris. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, be sure to subscribe to Hollywood Reporter. I don't work for The Hollywood Reporter. They paid me to say that, though.